Hi, my name is Matthew Pierce, and today I'm going to show you how to join two columns in Microsoft Excel. Now, the first thing you want to do is open up Microsoft Excel to get to the spreadsheet that you want to work on. I'm just going to use a blank one right here. Now, there's a couple things you can do. You can uh, take two columns and join them into one, which the way you do that is you highlight, and you click and select the, the columns you want to join. Then you go to Home, you're on your Home uh, menu right there. You go to Merge and Center, and then you pull down which one you want to do. You want to Merge and Center, that's probably the one you want to do right there. And then you end up with those two columns, they're merged into one. And really this is good for doing things like, uh, you know, titles, uh, you, know, you know, maybe some sort of documentation along the side or something. Probably the more interesting thing that you would want to do is take the contents of two columns and join them together in a third column, which say you have two columns of names. Maybe this will be the columns of first names and you want to have them put together uh, into a third column right here. Now there's a couple ways of doing this. You can click on the function button right there, find the concatenate function, double click on that and then it'll give you right there the option to choose you know, text one, text two. You can click on that little, uh, that there, click that button, hit return, click there, click on that cell there, hit return, and then it'll just let you go down the list and keep adding. You can concatenate row after row after row. And then you can hit OK, and you can see right there it concatenated, but it didn't do a real nice job, didn't put a space in there. So something you might want to do is go back, try it again, go concatenate, and then pick your first row again, and then in this one here, type a space. Then in this one here, you type, you pick your second row and say OK, and see there, it put a space in between. And so that, that just looks a lot better. Now, you can get the whole column populated with that just by clicking on that, right-clicking, say Copy, and then selecting the entire column, hit Paste. Now, this is going to look a little funny as it goes through. It's computing the whole spreadsheet. It might take that value, like it just did right there. You saw it blinked. It put that one value in the whole column, but then it went back and recalculated. So now you can see that this column here, it's got John Smith in it. So now I can go over here and type John Doe. Oops, well, I misspelled a little bit, but you see, you get the idea. Now this formula goes all the way down and you can enter values in these columns. And so you can do that with not just two columns, you can do it with multiple columns. You can do all sorts of formatting, but that's basically, that is how you do two columns. My name is Matt Pierce. Thanks for watching.